Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Shawnee is being brought to you by Cooper University Healthcare. South Jersey Group 4 quarterfinal action in Marlton as fourth seeded Cherokee takes on fifth seeded Shawnee. The Chiefs losing both regular season games against the rival Renegades this season, including a 47 point defeat just last week. But a much different story in this one. Points certainly at a premium for both teams this time around. First quarter, Bryce Nuobu grabs the offensive rebound. Back up strong for the bucket. And Cherokee leads 7-3 after one. Second quarter, Judd Holt drives and dishes to Keyshawn Sellers in the corner for three. Sellers connects and the Chiefs lead is five. At the near end now, it's Andrew Ball in the lane. The Monmouth commit hits the jumper, but the Renegades trail 15-10 at the break. Third quarter, the Chiefs still in front. The freshman Holt launches for three and drills it. Judd Holt extends the Cherokee advantage to seven. Then it's Zach Distel to Nuobu down the lane for the layup. That has the chief student section all kinds of fired up. Cherokee by nine. The Renegades battle back early in the fourth. Off of the steal, it's ball to Matt Fish. Alley-oop to ball for the flush. Shawnee pulls back within three. Cherokee with an answer. Nuobu in the post. Passes to a wide open Holt in the corner for another three. The freshman Judd Holt buries the triple to extend the lead back to six. The Renegades refuse to go away. Dwight Matthews pops open on the wing. Matthews hits from downtown to bring Shawnee within four with under two minutes to go. Still a four point game with 30 seconds left. Fish for three. Matt Fish hits the clutch shot to bring Shawnee within one. The teams trade a few free throws down the stretch, but the game comes down to this. 10 seconds to go, Shawnee down by two. A chance to force overtime or win it at the buzzer, but Holt steals it. Only fitting that a steal decides the outcome as Cherokee stuns Shawnee. 30 to 28 the final. The Chiefs' five starters, Holt, Nuobu, Sellers, Distel, and Shane Winkleman all play the full 32 minutes. Distel, the unsung hero as he guards Ball all night long. A huge size difference, but Distel holds Ball in check, and Cherokee advances. I asked before, like early in the season, if I could guard him, because I've known him for a while, and he's a really good player, but we, I've kind of picked up on tendencies over the years, so I sort of asked, I said, Coach, can I take him? And, I'll just get right up, get physical, and we'll see where it takes us. And I mean, my teammates did the rest. They helped me out and came out with the W. We told them it's going to be like a street fight a little bit, where it's going to be scrapping, holding. Who's going to get the 50-50 ball? Who's going to rebound? Who's going to take charges? And we did all that. Um, they got a great player in Andrew Ball. I mean, so like Zach Distel was unbelievable tonight. The kid's five foot five, five foot six, and he he just has a heart of a lion. Um, and for 32 minutes, he tried his best against one of the better players in South Jersey, and he did a great job. Yeah, we were just trying to play strong, you know, play with energy, bring, make them feel uncomfortable, and that's what we did tonight. I mean, people could say, like, we were going to get upset or we were the underdog, like, we shouldn't have been a four seed, but, I mean, we, we know we're capable. We got young guys, but they're all so confident. The Chiefs are now 15 and 13 overall. Cherokee will face top-seeded Cherry Hill East in the Group 4 South Semis on Friday. Shawnee finishes the year with a record of 21 and 7. In Marlton, I'm Mike Frankel, JerseySportsZone.com.